All right, so this is my Dromar the Banisher uh, EH deck. He's a white, blue, black colored uh, commander. Six mana, Dragon Legend from Invasion. Uh, he's a 6-6 six, six with flying, and whenever uh, it deals combat damage to a player, you may pay two and a blue, and if you do choose color, turn all creatures of that color to their owner's hands. Uh, so he can bounce stuff pretty easily. He can also bounce himself, which uh, you might think isn't that good of a ability, but it actually kind of is, especially in a deck that's playing a lot of blue, um, uh, like this. Uh, it's of course white, blue, black, but I primarily play blue um, in the deck, um, as well as I'm very heavy on artifacts and artifact creatures. Um, as you'll see. So, moving on to the land base. Um, once I focus here. Alright, so I got planes, two, three, planes, and one, two, four islands, one, two, three swamps, and those are all the basics. So, moving on, uh, I'm running each of the uh, cycling lands. So, first one here we got Secluded Step. Um, it comes in a play tab. You can add a white to your mana pool or you can cycle it um, for one white. Uh, really good combo here, as you'll see when I get to my artifacts with uh, um, Crucible of the Worlds. You can cycle it and then play it next turn if you have Crucible of the Worlds, which is really cool. Um, and Lonely Sandbar, which is the blue. Uh, Baron Moor, black. And then I got the each of the artifact lands, so Ancient Den, Seed Snood, and Vault of Whispers. Moving on, I got the um, dual color lands from the first Ravnica block. Um, so Azurius Chancery, Orzhov Basilica, Demir Aqueduct, and then I have the Guild Gates from Return to Ravnica. We got Azurius Guild Gate, Orzhov Guild Gate, and Demir Guild Gate. And moving on to the Shocklands, got Held Fountain, Godless Shrine, Water Grave, and now moving on to the, uh, let me see if I can focus here, sorry. Alright, so I got Glacial Fortress. Drowned Catacomb, Caves of Kilos, um, probably going to get rid of this um, once I find a replacement for it. You have to pay one life to tap for white or black, um, which isn't that big of a deal in EDH, but um, it's still life loss. Then Flagstones of Truck Air, really good. Um, Trans Guild Promenade. Um, you have to pay one to come when it comes in, but you can add one mana of any color to your mana pool, which is good. Uh, Command Tower, of course. Arcane Sanctum. Definitely really good. Reliquary Tower. Um, can come in handy if you're doing a lot of card draw, which I am. And then Terrain Generator. Um, probably not in most EGH decks, but. Uh, it can help you ramp up your mana pretty quickly. Um, you can add one colorless, or you can put a basic land from your hand to play tapped. Um, so you can essentially play two land cards per turn. Uh, you have to pay two, but if it's just if you have the mana, it can help you uh, advance and get the fatties that are in this deck into play really quickly. Um, Esper Paranorma, uh, pretty straightforward. Just sack it. 
and get a Plains Island Swamp, uh, Evolving Wilds, and Terramorphic Expanse. So, um, that's it for the lands. Moving on to the creatures, which are almost all artifact creatures. Uh, starting off here with Memnite, um, zero mana, and it's 1-1. One, one. Play it on turn 1, definitely, if you can. Um, moving on to Sage of Aptir. Uh, what comes into play, you can look at the top 4 cards of your library and put them back in any order. Um, definitely really good. Moving on, you got Chronomaton, 1 mana, and you can get them up pretty high, uh, especially in EDH. Uh, next, Tide Hall Sculler, 2 mana, 2-2, two, two. Um, and you can pretty much Oblivion Ring a card out of their hand. Uh, next, Ethereum Sculptor, definitely um, a really good card in this deck, as I am playing a lot of artifacts, so uh, he really comes in handy, allowing you to um, pay one less for each artifact. Uh, next you got Steel Overseer. Um, you can tap and put a 1-1 one -one counter on each artifact. Uh, definitely really good. Uh, can boost your artifacts up really high. Um, then I'm running each of the mirrors. So Silver, Mirror, taps for Blue. Lita Mirror taps for Black. And Gold Mirror taps for White. Uh, for the three drops, we got Palladium Mirror adds two mana, uh, two two. Um, next, we got Ether Sworn Sealed Mage. Uh, it's got Flash. It's three mana, two two. Um, when it comes into play, print all Conk damage that will be dealt to artifact creatures this turn. Uh, definitely really good, uh, strong effect. Master of Theum probably one of the all-stars of this deck. If this guy could be my commander, it definitely, definitely would be. Um, giving all your artifact creatures plus one, plus one, and having his power and toughness equal to the number of artifacts that you control is definitely really good. Um, pretty much just, he can get huge really quickly. Um, for the four drops, we got Tower Gargoyle, just typical 4-4 four, four, flyer for four. Uh, next, Fraxy Metamorph, um, definitely really good, um, again, playing on the artifact theme. And other Sworn Judge Cater, 5 mana, Flyer, 4-4-4, four, four, four. Um, or 4-4, four, four, sorry. Uh, he has some pretty strong effects, one of them is basically Murder. Um, actually, even, it's even better than Murder, it's, just, it's a uh, Mortify one of his effects and then the other one is untap it so definitely really good um, next um, mephitic ooze I don't even know how to pronounce that but uh, it gets plus one plus oh for each artifact creature you control or sorry each artifact and whenever it deals comic damage to a creature destroy that creature so uh, it's got death touch and this was going to be my uh, commander actually, but I decided against it, um, mostly because I think Dromar is actually a little bit better, um, just because he can do things each turn and kind of can play around on the uh, bouncing um, effects. Uh, but still, this is definitely very really good, a 5-5 five, five for 6 flyer. Uh, next, Sphinx of the Steel Wind, a uh, huge, huge body, 6-6. Six, six for 8 but uh, really good flying, first strike, diligence, lifelink, protection from red and from green, uh, definitely really good. Um, next up is Sphinx Sovereign, um, also an 8 for 6, or sorry, 6-6 six, six for 8, um, flyer, um, whenever it's untapped, um, you gain 3 life and otherwise each opponent loses three life. So that's it for the creatures. Moving on to the instants. 
starting off here in no particular order with uh, dash hopes um, just counter spell, black counter spell which you don't see too often um, when you play let's see if I can get focused here um, whenever you play it any player may pay five life and if they do they can counter it or else uh, counter target spell uh, moving on with Zuri's Charm good control early frost allowing you to tap three target lands so kinda can lock down your opponent uh, tear destroy target non artifact non block creature think twice definitely good for card draw cancel another counter uh, punishing units another counter um, fits pretty well into here you can its control loses three life and you gain three life. Unsummon. Path to Exile. Really good. Um, Condescend. Uh, another really good counter spell. It can't be countered unless. Uh, sorry, counter target spell unless it's controlled pays X, which X is in its mayo cost. And then you can scry two. Uh, resounding Wave. Uh, pretty expensive cycling cost, but if you can pull it off, definitely really good. Um, not only do you get to cycle it, um, but you also get to use its effect twice, which is really good. Uh, Mana Leak, typical counter spell. Uh, next is Thought Scour, um, more card advantage. Uh, Boomerang, Doom Blade. Destroy target non black creature. Murder. Uh, Esper Charm. More control. And finally, Mortify. Alright, um, moving on to sorceries. I've got Diabolic Tutor. Just allowing you to search for a card. Four, pretty good, especially in Commander. Um, Supreme Verdict, uh, definitely good if you choose to play the uh, really, really strong control route. Um, yeah. Train of Thought, really good card draw. Uh, index, more card advantage. Pulse of the Dross, uh, this card is actually really fun uh, to use. Uh, it's a three mana. Sorcery, uh, target player reveals his three cards from his or her hand, and you choose one of them. That player discards that card. Then, if that player has more cards in their hand than you, you can return Pulse of the Dross to its owner's hand. So, you can essentially kind of lock down your opponent if you're kind of uh, don't have that many cards in your hand, which is really good. Uh, Mind Sculpt. Uh, mind Rot. Preordain, really good. Ancestral Vision, also very good. Um, suspend for four. Uh, 4C, scry four, then draw two cards, also really good. It's uh, four mana. Dress, also really good. Wretch Mine, uh, target player discards two cards from his or her hand unless he or she discards an artifact card. And finally, uh, Serum Visions, one mana, draw a card, and then scry two. Alright, so moving on to enchantments. I have Oblivion Ring, uh, pretty straightforward. Pacifism, Rest, and Eyes of the Watcher, uh, which is pretty good. Whenever a play, whenever you, uh, let me see, whenever you play an instant or a sorcery spell, you may pay one. If you do, scry two. So that's it for the enchantments. Then moving on to the artifacts. Most of these are just. Uh, um, 
for mana purposes. So Gilded Lotus, Obelisk of Esper, Azurius Signet, Demir Signet, Orzhov Signet, Crucible of Worlds, Prophetic Prism, and finally Tormod's Crypt. So yeah, that is my EDH deck. Um, I apologize for the poor video quality, but uh, it's the best that I had. So yeah, make sure to leave any comments if you have any suggestions, and catch you later.